Today has been extremely difficult. No! Oh no, there he is! Oh, it's a big old trout! He just hammered that thing! Oh, look at him jumping! <laughs> <laughs> Holy cow! Well, I got a hot tip from a buddy of mine that Cascade was doing well for the perch and the trout. So I loaded up, I got a new boat, got a new Alumacraft from Auburn Outboard Marine. I'm here by myself. things I had really good success with a couple years ago uh, trolling for perch at home uh, the bottom tracking feature uh, on the cannons and I'm running, gonna run a little spinning glow set up with a worm and keep it about five feet off the bottom and just kind of run that thing at about 1.5 1.7 miles an hour is what I'm gonna try first that's my first idea going here so one of the things one of the things that's great about the one boat network, which means you have a Minn Kota, a Humminbird, and a Cannon, is you can run everything from here. They all connect, they all talk to each other. So watch this. So we're at 30 feet. I'm gonna go to my motor setting here. I'm gonna take off my navigation. I'm gonna turn. Get this going the right direction here. It's about like that. Set my heading right there. My navigation started. I'm just gonna cruise this shoreline right here while I get ready. Whatever it was, it worked to slow down. We uh, changed colors a little bit, slowed down to one mile an hour. It was at like 1.8. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Holy cow. Dude, look at the size of this perch. He's huge. <laughs> I mean, come on. Look at that thing. Little split spinning glow rig. We're gonna do a little catch clean cook for you. I'm gonna throw them in the live well there. And uh, we're gonna take a couple of these biggins home and uh, we're gonna make some fish tacos or just some fish and chips, something, and show you guys the right way to cook some of these yellow perch. There's really no wrong way to do it because they're amazing. They're probably the best freshwater fish there is, in my opinion, to eat. But we're gonna cook up a recipe and show you guys at home how to do it. through here kind of figuring out a few things and um, we're utilizing the bottom track we're doing a two foot offset and the spin glow rigs with a worm on there seems to be doing the trick <laughs> on the plug a little slap perch there we go plug fishing Just pounded the maglip, yeah! And that's what we love about these Kamloops rainbows right there. We're definitely gonna take a welcome rainbow trout here. And he just hammered the maglip too. The baby perch maglip. Damn! What a fish. Beautiful rainbow. Old plug. Not a bad fish. Today has been extremely difficult. And you know what we've figured out here the last couple days, the lake just turned over. And anytime a lake turns over, it's never good for a little while, at least a week until it gets calmed down. But we've been fishing for about 10 hours today. We've caught 
that was number four. Three perch, one trout in like 10 hours. <laughs> to see that rod go off and see it start to do something other than just go up and down on the bottom track is pretty exciting. He just hammered that thing. Oh, oh my God. Woo, what's up, trout? Dang. He just hammered that thing. Oh, look at him jumping. <laughs> oh, that is cool. He just hammered that thing. Look at him. Look at him taking line. Oh, yes. There's a big old trout. Look at the size of that rainbow, huh? Oh, see you, buddy. Yes. Boy, that was fun. Yeah. On the spinner rig again. That's a freaking bass. That's a big fish. That's smally. Bottom tracking for smallmouth bass. We're just keeping that. We're just keeping that spinner two feet off the bottom, and just hammering fish. We got a big rainbow, perch, and now a smallmouth. Bottom tracking for the win, baby. I'll just come back here. We're gonna fly up some of these fish. Whip us up some fish tacos. Open yourself a beer, get a cocktail. And I'm just gonna let these fish soak in this cold water for a minute. And as I start to prepare um, all the stuff that's gonna go with it. So I'm gonna walk you through my ingredient list here. Typically I like to use the McCormick's Baja fish seasoning, but we just didn't have it. Come out in the middle of nowhere. So I grabbed like a chipotle, roasted garlic, and a garlic herb and wine. A little bit of sweet garlic will go good with those fish. Now, when I when I put these tacos together, I keep it pretty simple. Guacamole, some corn, cheese, a little bit of rice, and some sour cream. And that's basically all you need to make some great fish tacos. We've got some local Rodriguez uh, yellow corn tortillas here. So those are gonna be a nice little treat for us. And I'm gonna show you here in a minute after I get these, how I get that fish ready. There's a fish. Just a little dab of cheddar cheese, a little bit of guac, a little bit of sour cream, a little bit of the cabbage slaw to make us feel better. Corn in there. Corn seems to make it a nice little, little nice little flavor and crunch to it. There you go. Perch fish tacos. That's quite the treat after a long day of fishing right there. 